welcome to the Medical Day Unit at Cavendish Square. The Royal Marsden Private Care at Cavendish Square is a diagnostic and treatment centre located at the bottom of Harley Street. Patients have fast access to world-leading cancer specialists and the latest treatment and research. We are a daycare unit, open Monday to Friday. Whilst we offer most services at Cavendish Square, there may be some occasions where patients need to attend the main hospital sites at Chelsea or Sutton for specialist services. Starting cancer treatment can be a worrying time, but we aim to provide you with the best experience possible. This video gives an overview of the medical day unit treatment pathways at Cavendish Square. Here, we administer systemic anti-cancer therapies such as chemotherapy and immunotherapy. We refer to this as SACT treatment and it can either be given in the form of an injection, tablets or into a vein. Patients are welcomed into main reception by our guest relation officers where you can help yourself to refreshments. The medical day unit at Cavendish Square is located on the ground floor of the building. We refer to the medical day unit as MDU for short. Signage is provided within the building for ease of navigation. There is also step-free access if needed. There is support for our international patients with translators and international advocates on hand at all times. We offer two types of appointments known as one stop and two stop. One stop treatment involves having all your appointments in one day. This includes a blood test, clinical review and administration of treatment later that day. There will be a wait between appointments, blood results and treatment preparation. Two stop treatment involves having appointments across two days with less waiting time. There is a blood test and clinical review on one day and a return to the MDU on a different day to receive treatment. The MDU team will discuss these options with you. After your arrival, a member of the team will call you for your blood test. We will measure your height and weight and vital signs. These investigations will be completed every time you receive treatment. Some patients may be asked to complete additional tests or investigations, such as a urine test or an ECG. This will be dependent on your treatment. Your team will inform you if this is required. If you have a central venous access device, such as a portacath or PIC line, we will use this to collect your blood samples. For more information on using these devices, please speak to your nurse. If you do not have a central venous access device, we'll insert a small plastic tube into your vein called a cannula. Your blood samples will be labelled using your unique code before being sent to our laboratories to be processed. There are usually two parts to your blood test, a full blood count which looks at the red and white blood cells and platelet count, and a biochemistry test which looks at how well the organs such as the liver and kidneys are working. Once received in our laboratories, your blood samples are run through automated analyzers and a scientist reviews and validates the results. While we wait for the results of your blood test, you will be reviewed by a healthcare professional, which may be a doctor, nurse or pharmacist, to assess if you are well enough to receive your planned treatment. On your first visit, a healthcare professional will go through the details of your treatment regime and plan. If you're happy to proceed with the treatment, you'll be asked to sign a consent form. Please also remember to bring a full list of medication you take and a list of questions you may have to discuss with your healthcare professional. At the end of your clinical review, your healthcare professional will confirm your treatment appointment time. Once your blood results have been reported, if they are satisfactory, a pharmacist will confirm your treatment to go ahead. Your treatment will be prepared by a specialist branch of the pharmacy department, the aseptic unit. This department is located at our main hospital site in Chelsea. All prepared SAT treatment is stored under controlled conditions. To reduce waiting times where possible, some drugs are delivered to Cavendish Square in advance of your appointment. 
Other drugs must be prepared on the same day you receive your treatment for reasons such as short expiry. If you're having an injection, a nurse will take you through to a private area to administer your treatment. If you are having oral medication, you'll be informed where to collect the tablets. If you're having treatment into the vein, the nurse will call and escort you to your treatment chair. Your nurse will complete a treatment toxicity baseline assessment by asking about your symptoms. After this, the nurse will explain the treatment schedule for the day, what drugs will be administered and how long your treatment will take. This can include pre-medications which are prescribed to help you manage potential side effects. You will have an opportunity to discuss any concerns or questions regarding side effects with your nurse. Once your treatment has started, the nurses will perform regular checks during the infusion of your treatment. Should you require any assistance, begin to feel unwell or experience discomfort at the site of your infusion, use your call bell handset to alert a member of the team. If you need to move from your chair during your treatment, you can do so by unplugging your infusion pump and walking with your drip stand. The pump will continue to infuse normally as it will run on battery. Please ensure your infusion pump is plugged in when you return to your chair. If you're not confident in doing this, a member of the team can help you. A member of the pharmacy team will counsel you on any medication that you need to take home. If you have a question regarding your medication, please speak to your treatment nurse who can liaise with the pharmacy team on your behalf. Some treatments require you to receive other supportive medication, such as an injection to improve your immune system. If this is part of your treatment regime, you will be provided with the equipment and teaching on how to self-administer this medication. At the end of your treatment, your nurse will disconnect your infusion and remove your cannula or portocath needle. Some patients need to go home with chemotherapy in a portable pump device. You'll be aware of this from your pre-treatment consultation. If this applies to you, please ensure you confirm your treatment time for disconnection. When attending for treatment, we advise that you wear comfortable clothing that provides easy access to your chest, arms and legs, such as a loose top or button shirt. You are welcome to bring in your personal entertainment. However, we kindly request that you keep electronic devices on silent mode. There is Wi-Fi available. Refreshments are available on site, including a hot and cold food menu. If you have any food allergies or special dietary requirements, please inform us so we can cater to your needs. Alternatively, there are an array of restaurants and cafes situated around Cavendish Square, or you may prefer to bring in your own snacks. Please be aware of the importance of arriving on time. If concerned, please contact the MDU scheduling team in advance on the number below so we can review and discuss your appointments. After completion of treatment, you may experience some side effects and we ask all patients to be vigilant. You will be given an alert card with possible symptoms to be aware of and you can take this with you when you leave the centre. If you experience any side effects or feel unwell, you should call the Royal Marsden Macmillan Hotline on the number below. This service is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You should not attend the Royal Marsden unless instructed. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to welcoming you to Cavendish Square.